friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. And thank you for joining me. So tonight, I'm actually just going to make this keychain. You can get these on Amazon. I bought these some time ago from AliExpress, but I did see them on Amazon. Now, I'm going to start with, this is just some OPI nail polish. I love this color when I'm making like a night sky type of thing. I think this is just really pretty. And I'm actually going to stick this under the the dryer for like 30 seconds just to let it dry. Now I am really new to UV resin. I've only been using it for about a month or so. But I'm definitely enjoying it. There's so many fun things that you can do with it. Now, one of the things that um, I did see from other people was the foil, using a foil or a mirror. Because with the UV, you know, you want the light to, ref to refract back up and it will help to dry the piece faster from what I understand. Now, I may be doing this and there's no reason to. However, I did see that from a couple people. So... I've been doing that and trying. So I've got this OPI nail polish I'm going to be using. I have my UV resin. I got this on Amazon. And I'm going to be using this glitter here. This glitter came actually from AliExpress. I've had it for a long time. And then I'm going to use this little bundle of nail things so that you can get from Amazon um, mine came from AliExpress um, quite some time ago and you know I'm not sure uh, you know if people are still getting stuff from them right now with everything that happened with China so I don't know the answer to that but I do know that you can get those on Amazon. I'm sure they probably came from AliExpress because the ones that I got from Amazon look exactly like the ones I got from AliExpress. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of resin. And I forgot to grab a popsicle stick. And I also, like to use a toothpick. I've got several tumblers that I'm in the process of. I finish them and you know I videoed them. I just have to go in and go through the video because I try and take out any dead space and stuff and I try to make them so they're not so long. But I do have three finished that I need to, or, you know, the tumblers are finished. I need to finish up the videos. So, and I'm just spreading this around and making it go all the way to the sides. Now, on this one, the only thing that I'm going to make go fast is when it's under the UV light because I know um, I've been hearing a lot of people are wanting to just start getting into UV resin and you know a lot of videos don't really show everything so I mean mind you I'm just learning also all right, 
So I'm gonna put this under. So this UV resin is two to four minutes and my UV light, it goes 90 seconds at a time. So this UV light, I got it from Amazon and it was somewhere around $40, I wanna say, but it is a 48 watt. And from everything I've read, you need to have at least a 36 watt in order to dry your stuff properly. <clears throat> I think I'm going to just put a little more in here. Oh, oh get it on my desk. So speaking of having all the tumblers, I can't get done because of work. I also, I just went through and I'm really sorry. So sometimes I get super busy with work and I try to answer all the comments. However, I apparently missed a bunch. So I, I went through tonight and tried to find them all that I missed and answer them. So if I missed a comment that you put in, I am so, so sorry. It was not intentional. I try my best to answer them all. My, my only opportunity to do my crafting and to take care of that stuff is either early in the morning before work or after work and then that's of course you know when I'm not with my daughter and my grandson and I work a lot so I'm generally doing these things on the weekends or you know quite late at night once I've got everything taken care of for work and my husband fed and all of that stuff. So I'm really, really sorry if I missed your comment. You know, another speaking of comments. All right, so I'm just gonna put some glitter in. But another speaking of comments, I'm wondering if you guys have noticed. So I noticed some of my favorite um, YouTubers have turned off their comments. And I'm seeing this a lot more lately. And it's so sad to me. So I don't know if I'm just noticing it, but I'm wondering if you guys are noticing it. But I get it because there's so many people that, you know, you're trying to be nice and you know, give some information that might be helpful. And there's so many people that are just not kind. You know, sometimes I think that people say things just because they feel like they can. And I don't really understand. And, you know, some of the people I see turning off their comments I don't know. I just think it's sad because they probably answered a lot of questions that people had. And that makes me really sad. All right, four more minutes. I like when people do it because you are able to find stuff and you know, my hope is that not that I think I'm, you know, some, you know, great crafter, but, you know, I try different things and, you know, my hope is that, you know, there, uh, I'll have something that might solve a problem for somebody or give them, you know, just a quick jolt of, you know, inspiration for something that 
they want or they'll take something that I've tried to do and just make it better, make it work better. And, you know, it's hard. You put yourself out there and then you've got a lot of people who aren't very nice. They think they can just say whatever they want. So, but it's sad because I'm sure that these people that have turned off their comments, there were probably a lot of people who, you know, enjoyed being able to ask them some questions and figure things out. I was watching a live, a YouTube live maybe last night or the night before I can't even remember my days just run into each other but on the YouTube live I don't want to say who it is because I think that just makes it even worse but one of my one of my favorite YouTubers and I appreciate her so much because I've been watching her for you know probably four years and the, that was when I first, you know, learned about YouTube and, you know, started watching anybody. And, you know, she's the one that really, like, helped me through my, like, cricket process of cricket. Even though, I mean, I know I still got so much to learn from cricket. From cricket but you know I've learned so much in the four years I've been doing it and a lot of it was from her like I can't imagine her not having her channel I'm so appreciative of it but you know during this live somebody told her that she was fat well I mean first of all she's beautiful she's a beautiful young lady and you know she looks like an average woman she's not fat but you know it's kind of sad because you know she has said before how you know she was on steroids for a disease process and they made her gain weight and you know she's really subconscious about her weight and like I just don't understand why do people think that it's okay to just be mean to other people and treat people like that and I just don't get it So I'm just, you know, again, building my layers and adding my pieces.
There's just so many like just cool fun. pieces you can get. Four more minutes. So pretty. Let's see. I'm going to do just one more some a little bit more nail polish in there. I really like using nail polish for these. I'm just gonna have 30 seconds and let the nail polish go. Do you want to see what I've been doing while I'm waiting the four minutes in between? So I took and separated out all the little gold strands out of this. I love these little gold strands. I love the way they look and things. But boy, they make going through your little containers of stuff such a pain. So I pulled them out. And look, here's another. And those containers, you have to be so careful because they're so easy to dump over. See, like I have my top just halfway sitting on there being lazy. Make sure you screw them on if you buy these things because the pieces are so small, you'll lose them. But they're so cute. Like you get some of the best pieces. Now I'm just going to give this a nice top and it'll be done. Oh, that's perfect. That is so pretty. And there we go. Finished project. So what do you think? It's fast. It's easy, it's pretty. You can do whatever you want inside these. I'm really enjoying this UV resin. So I hope that you found it helpful. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. I'm getting ready to head off to bed and hopefully I'll get up early and put this up. But it's late right now. So you guys have a blessed and beautiful rest of the night. And I'll see you later, friends. Bye.